Hi, this is Dan, and I'm here with my Let's Play of Super Auto Pets. This weekly here. Okay, well, let's go with the stats. The fish have been letting me down, so I'm going to try to avoid the fish here. Yeah. Let's see. Um, let's be the warmish hands. We had good stats for a second, but uh, Mosquito took that away. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. Okay. You're a little bit interesting. I keep getting the bear on this first level up. I hate it. Uh, so let's do this. This is the one thing I was also planning to sell. You. Uh, yeah, let's just run this squad for a turn. Yeah, this pig is going to destroy us. I mean, I suppose it was really the hatching chick. The pig was just the the vehicle. But still. Clownfish. Don't love it. Let's um Try that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're getting some weird options, so we've got to try to make it work, but don't really see how. Potentially interesting, but I don't want to clog up our buy sell slot. I mean, these other units that we have are also very <laughs> expendable. I think we're trying to pivot to something. Let's, I mean, if we're going to be here, let's do this. Um, 
I mean, you're not that great anymore. I don't know. All right, why don't we tie it's something? We can do that. I don't think you're great, but I mean, you work sometimes. So maybe. All right, if we get the hatching check to help you. So I don't think we're going to be doing any more buy cells. Now we're probably going to want some kind of melon or something on you, or lemon, probably. The rest of their team is not that great. Okay. So we've got some time here, I guess.
はいなタイガー would be interesting but we can't get it in the right place They're kind of useless. Like if we had a way to get stats off the rhino, I would actually like to really like to have a tiger behind it, but I think the rhino is just not gonna work. I was going to say, oh, we can beat an 8-6, but now the hawk is going to destroy it before we even get a chance. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we need to give up on the rhino. It's just no good. Okay, so like, do we care about any of this? I mean, if we could get the Rhino to work, a lot of this stuff would be pretty nice. Snake behind the Rhino is also very interesting. <laughs> So my thinking here is maybe we'll get a rhino. Um, on the rolls. I'm a little tempted by the snail, but a 1-1 one, one buff is not enough to give away a 14-19. Yeah, we're doomed, I think. Uh, I mean, the Rhino seemed like a good, like, if we had gotten the resources to make it work, it would have been good, but you never do. Well, that wasn't as bad as it could have been, but... Pretty bad. Yeah, Rhino. Yeah, without any kind of food buffs or like any way to deliver reliable buffs, I think the Rhino was just kind of a doomed strategy. All right. Um, let's be the purpling rascals. Three of you, so I feel obligated to take you, but I don't want to. <laughs>
All right, a dolphin. It's pretty good. So we will get one. Kind of like a bug as well. That's some great stats. But we still tie. Alright, well this works. I don't think an ox really does a ton for us. Raise that. And then I think I'm going to give it to the pug just to keep it ahead of the dolphin. Like, it's not going to matter right now, but if we ever do start leveling up the dolphin, then it'd be better to have the pug. A little bit ahead on uh, attack, so it uh, is first. Really appeal. Clownfish, maybe. Actually, I want to get rid of the seahorse. It just annoys me. Let's do that. So, I want to sell the duck uh, when we see another pug. Um, in which case, like if we're we're pivoting. Let's sell the beetle. Sell the duck next round. Yeah, we're going to get stomped here. <laughs> Sell the duck. Now you have much better stats. Okay, now our team is significantly better than it was uh, a minute ago. Triceratops. I mean, a Triceratops doesn't really do 
look for us right now. And it's going to be hard. It would be hard to get stats to it. Is the thing. Tempted by anything because we combine the clownfish, but I don't know if the deer is really doing enough. I mean, it has been good for us on a few. Um, a few times on this weekly. Let's consider it. All right, with two of them. Considering it more. Be careful not to get you advanced to have the pug, though. Hmm. I'd like to give the lemon to the pug, but I also, like I mentioned, want to keep it um, keep it ahead. So let's also do that. And I guess I should have unfrozen the lemon. I was gonna deploy a carrot. So we'd have here it'd be five, two, three, four. It's not a bad poodle team. So let's get rid of you. And do that. Also pretty good. Hedgehogs here. Mm 
Okay, well, we survived that chaos. Uh, <laughs> Do a mushroom on a deer. I think I like that. Let's just do this. Okay, hold on. This is... I think I like that. I was thinking, oh, once we level, you know, if we level up the deer and the dolphin, what, what uses the pug? And it's like, hold on. <laughs> I'd actually, even right now, prefer if the, uh, the crocodile. Uh, doing some damage for us. on their team. Well, so do we. <laughs> Except we do have a uh, deer that also spawns. Alright, double plus victory there. Apparently I'd never won with the uh, level 3 deer before. Well, there you go. A victory. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you come back next time. Bye!